Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the standard deviation from a frequency table. So to do this we're going to use the formula shown in the red box and that is to do the square root of sigma fx squared divided by sigma f minus the bracket sigma fx divided by sigma f and close your bracket squared. Um, F stands for the frequency, X stands for the data values and this symbol here is a sigma which means the sum of or the total. Okay so let's have a look at the example shown in the table. So we've got to work out the standard deviation for the ages of these 10 people. So our ages would be X and our frequency would be F. So the first thing we need to do then is work out sigma fx. So we do this by multiplying the two first two columns together and adding up this column. So let's multiply the columns together. So we've got 9 times 2 is 18. 10 times 2 is 20. 11 times 5 is 55. And 12 times 1 is 12. So to get sigma fx then we just need to add up this column here. So 18 add 20 add 55 add 12 gives a total of 105. So the next thing that we need to do then is work out sigma fx squared. So we've got fx squared at the top there. Okay, so to do this then, we're going to square our ages and multiply it by the frequency and then add this column up once we're finished. So my first one would be 9 squared is 81 and times that by 2 is 162. So our next one would be 10 squared, which is 100, times 2 is 200. Our next one would be 11 squared is 121 uh, times 5 is 605 and our final one would be 12 squared is 144 times 1 is 144 so if we add this column up then that will give us sigma fx squared okay so 162 add 200, add 605, add 144, gives a total of 1111. So we've now worked out our values for our formula, so we can substitute these numbers in. So we've got sigma fx squared, which is 1111. So sigma f is the sum of our frequency column, which was given in the question, which is 10. So that's sigma f. Okay, and then in a bracket then we're going to take off sigma fx, which is 105. And we're dividing that by sigma f again, and that's going to be squared. So... You should be able to now type this exactly as it appears on your scientific calculator. So using the fraction button and the bracket keys. So let's type that in. And that gives us an answer of 0.922, and that's the three significant figures. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel then, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.